everyone and welcome back well for me basically because I just came from a so-called holiday when I look at holidays I think yay I can sleep until noon and don't have to worry about anything happening that day just relax and chill and be happy with what is happening which is actually not happening the reason why it wasn't really chill at all relaxing is because we had to wake up at eight o'clock just to get breakfast because if you missed it yeah you're gonna go hungry last week I was at a camp called snow camp because it happened to be winter at my place right now without snow because yeah, Snow is a dick and doesn't want to show up. As you can see my t-shirt, this is uh, the group or the church or the youth group or whatever you want to call it, which hosted the snow camp that I went to. Every year at the end of the snow camp they show a video uh, showing all highlights that uh, happened at that camp. If you want to check the video that is probably coming out soon, you can go to that link. Maybe it's gonna come up next week, maybe this week, I have no idea. So I'm pretty excited for that because I'm in it! Same. I love it and it's the most highlighting time in each year. I look forward to it every summer. They also hold a summer camp, which ironically is in the summertime. Even though Switzerland is a very huge dick about seasons. Winter is probably in the summer, spring is in fall, and fall is probably in spring. I know we have four seasons, but don't expect them to be on time. So why do I like this camp so much? The main reason is because I can go snowboarding. I remember actually my first boyfriend taught me how to snowboard. Wow, I'm gonna ride on a flat stick. And I fell in love with it. And if you ask me where I want to go to holidays, I probably pick somewhere where there is snow, cold, and freezing. I would literally choose Alaska if you choose the Maldives. Why not beach and sand and sun? Because I've basically been there and I've lived eight years on the Philippines, so I've lived five minutes in front of the beach. Shout out to all my Philippine friends. In the last couple of months, I've been very, you know, kept to myself. I didn't show up much. I didn't hang out with friends a lot. That camp, we were like 45 people. With that many people, I kind of pick out with who I want to sit or sleep. That sounded so wrong. You cannot choose with who you sleep. Okay, that's not what I meant. I had a room with eight people separated into two rooms and one big room with two bathrooms and two showers. And they were awfully small, like little boxes. I felt like I'm being tortured. I wasn't able to move. Like here is where the water comes out and it's just like, okay. And the water stream from the shower, it was like, like when you pour water into a glass. That's how small the stream was. Oh, I'm gonna have warm water over my chest, but my back is freezing. I have to turn around and my front is freezing. So I just sat down in the shower, so when it hits my head, it will cover me all up. But still, my butt was freezing because the floor was really cold. Basically, everything about the shower was awful. I was really kept to myself and I kind of pulled back. I asked the counselor to like pray for me because, yeah, I kind of miss the person, that funny, exciting person that I actually am. As, after I prayed, the next day, no, at the same evening actually, uh, one of my friends came up. She came to me and asked, Laura, I want to do something really exciting. And I was like, yeah, uh, what do you want to do? You want to paint our faces and scare other people? My best friend actually bought masks so we could play pranks on others. And she, she you know, decorated them very bad sneak into other rooms and wake them up and scare them. Never really happened. I don't know why. I think we were just, you know, too lame for that. She asked me if I want to go snowboarding. We were snowboarding, wait for it, with bikinis, nothing else. And probably the snowboard shoes and our helmets, but nothing else. might think oh my god that is so cold and you've probably freeze your ass off but you know in fact it was actually really warm as you can see from the video the sun was out bright and shiny and it was so much comfortable going with your bikini you had so much moving space it was awesome and you know your legs didn't have to you know pull up your pants because yeah I'm too skinny for my own snowboarding pants because yeah they kind of fall down every time I move too hard the only dangerous thing about that was actually if you fall, you have a big fat bruise. I have a couple of bruises on my legs right now and on my ass. Yeah, that wasn't really, you know, being careful. But. And the 
were so many people looking at us like we were kind of sort of celebrities. Hello, I know, I'm sexy, go on, keep on. And it was just, it was amazing. I actually really like the attention. Fame. Another highlight in camp was my best friend and I, just before the camp, we went shopping because that's what we do. I mean, right? Every time you go on a vacation, you start buying things that you don't actually need. Sometimes you don't even end up taking them with you because probably you forget it or you just don't remember that you bought it. And then when you're in camp, you're like opening your bag and oh shit, I forgot everything I needed and took everything I didn't need it. Now I'm gonna have to walk around naked. She bought that black mat that everyone on Instagram is talking about and you see literally every second video is about how they pull out that black mask and how fresh their faces look and how they pull out the black heads on your face. Ah, fuck. Go for it. Ah, the bitch. I'm a But believe me, it feels like you're pulling off your own skin. So we shared it among three people. So yeah, that's why I have a penis on my forehead. That was it. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and want to see more. You can also write some comments and give me some suggestions on how to improve my videos. So I see you next time and I wish you all the best and have a nice day.